Something is always brewing in Gerard Tonti's studio. Well, I thought it might be fun to kind of push the limits a little bit. Literally, he paints with coffee and tea. You are aware they do sell paints like in a tube. Just not as fun. <laughs> this graphic designer used to paint the old fashioned way until the day he became fascinated by his cup of green tea. And I think, I thought, well, I wonder if I can make this into a, a painting medium, you know, what that would be like. Browns and greens were easy enough, but keeping other colors stable, not so much. What's the hardest color to make stick? Hardest color to make stick is probably the reds. Are you still working on mastering the reds? I recently have just, just got it. Yeah, you so just, I got, just it? got it? So After I, how many years? Uh, well, the whole process has been about 10 years. So now I have a full color spectrum. So I can get things like flesh tones. I can get purples, silvers, grays, blacks, whites, the whole works. Getting all those colors requires Tanti to buy coffee and tea from around the world, shipped to his home outside Pittsburgh that he shares with his wife and two children. This is the tea that you only get from yeah. Thailand, so, right? Yes, yeah, it's dried blue flowers. Mm -hmm. It's blue, all right. OK, here we go. Tastes good. It's a really delicate flavor. So this essentially is your blue. There is no other tea that gives you this color that you need? Uh, no. The actual painting requires a bit of a juggling act in Tanti's basement studio, which doubles as a sort of chemistry lab. So what I'll do mm -hmm. is I'll set the easels up, work on a piece. You know, you can see I have several going at the same time, mm -hmm. but I'm actually brewing and making paint as I'm working. It's like you're cooking and painting right, at right. the same time. Mm -hmm. Look closely. That textured surface, it's actually coffee grounds. And it's a good guess that with all that caffeine around, Tanti's art will keep percolating. Anybody ever say, why do you do that? <laughs> sure, all the time. <laughs> How do you uh, answer that? Um, it's, for me, it's all about the challenge. You know, it's been about the process and the challenge. So if somebody can, you know, look at a piece and it makes them feel warm, like, you know, a warm cup of coffee in a coffee shop, I think the job's done. Mm -hmm.